breakfast three times a day? Oh baby, oh baby, make some noise. Three Pengon videos in the same day. This time, Zephyr and Demon Guard Dragon duels. Enjoy greatness, all right? I lose some, I win some, it doesn't matter. I wanna show you guys how the good hands are, the bad hands are, when you get a hand trap, how to play, etc. Watch your opponent score when you put up 80 in the gates, all that type of jazz. So enjoy the third video of the day, as I kind of hinted in earlier videos. If you haven't already, go check out my first video where I show common tutorials for this very Zephyr, Guard Dragon, and Demion deck. And my second video I posted, which is the, uh, the deck profile. I just posted the comment tutorial and the deck profile. So go check it out. Links will be in the description below. Download description of the deck will be links in the description below. Out of breath, subscribe, and enjoy the duels. Go, let's go, guys. What we are going to do today is three raiding matches and a grudge match. Testing with Zephyr, Guard Dragon, and Demia. This is the grudge match. You're talking shit on my stream. So it's time to put Nubio in his place. Noob. We're going to wreck this guy, and you guys going to see, uh, in future videos, we're probably going to show both hands, but I think it's better to show just my hands, so you guys could like, see from my perspective, so it's, like, your perspective as well, because you don't know what he has, and neither did I at the time. I want to die roll, uh, I'm going to destroy this guy. Uh, he talks shit on my stream, so, uh, obviously, I got to whoop his ass. Uh, now, we're going to be doing this a lot, a lot often in di uh, different days, uh, where I just test multiple times, so we're doing three rated and one of this. Look at my hand. I said in the past video, I opened Shrine. Double Ravine and Mirror Mirror. That's four cards that are like, only, you only need one of them. So you're really only playing with two cards, a Servant and a Shrine, right? Your, your Shrine's an Ash Bait here. If he doesn't Ash it, you're good. The way you hope he Ashes it, because now your Ravines are going to be useless. They're just there to put counters on Servant. So you're going to keep going here. Obviously with the hand where you have Shrine, Double Ravine and Mirror Mirror, you can't play through uh, the Ash on the Servant, but you'd, have to, you'd assume you'd Ash the Foolish, right? Uh, so if you Ash the Foolish, you, you'd hope for that. Uh, then you keep going here, and even with four dead cards, we're gonna fast forward because for the commentary, I want to uh, play slow. I talk fast for the commentary, but we're gonna play fast, play fast because we have four duels, four matches to show you guys. Some are duels, but mainly matches. Uh, and here we end up, so that's all you need for the summon. The, we, for the parent summon, we, with a shit hand, we had four cards that were like, we had three cards that were useless. So we only played, we're playing with two cards right now. But even when you're playing with two cards, uh, like Servant well, is pretty much all you need, to be honest. Uh, playing with two cards, you end up with this five negates that you're going to get. So you're going to end up with uh, the Divine Strike, the Jackal, the Vortex, the three full negates, and then the Bounce and the Banish. So you have five interruptions there. So it's like through, with two cards. So it's like it's broken, even with the shit hands. So he's a good player. We'll see what he does. He upstarts. I'm like, sure, no problem. Uh, he keeps going here. Uh, he goes Monster Reborn, uh, targeting Triple Burst. Interesting play. Uh, I'm like, sure, no problem. That does nothing for me. But this is also why you play Aether instead of Sloth. Uh, because, well, if I slot there, okay, then he'll just, uh, attack and, like, it's gone, right? But, look, he's gonna summon another monster, this one. So, what World Crown does, for those who don't know, is, he's gonna, like, playing something, like, whether it be Orcust or, uh, uh, Crusadia, or just a, sp a Spam Saryuja deck, which, those decks are amazing, I love those decks. Uh, but what looks like what he's trying to do here is get rid of this. He's gonna be able to negate, uh, one of my extra deck monsters with that, but I'm wary of it, and I'm gonna be playing smart around it. I do intend to, uh, Use this to get rid of both of them. Uh, bounce burst back to my action deck and banish this. And if he intends to negate anything, it still works out for me because they're both will be leaving the field. Uh, so he uses effect on triple burst and he'll chain call by the grave. That's when I realized, well, you know what? Yeah, I can use a vortex to negate call by the grave, but then he'll use his uh, world legacy world crown. So I use my trap card. Uh, he can't uh, respond to it, a uh, counter trap. Uh, and even though I can't negate it, anyways. And just like that, uh, that's back. And then the effect of that brings up Aether. I love Aether way more than Sloth. Uh, in this situation, he could have put another monster just attack the sloth, which is why. Like, uh, if he had a danger or something, he could have attacked it. It wouldn't work. And I, I have two negates left, a jackal and a vortex. And he shows me the rest of his hand. Uh, he can't do anything. My deck is superior in every which way. Uh, I played the best deck. So, uh, that was a duel there. And I, I said, you suck. He's talking shit. I beat him. So, it went nothing. And now we're going to go to the next one. This guy is rated. Uh, he is a little bit of a noob. Uh, my rating sucks on Dueling Book. I don't play rated ever. Uh, but he does have a hand trap up to ass here, so we're gonna see what we do here. Uh, and we open pretty good. Every hand's gonna look like this. Every hand's gonna open a Zephyr, a uh, Foolish, and uh, some so form of Abductor, Mastery, or uh, Servant, draw a card, Turbo God. It's all you have in your deck, right? Uh, so here he does not Ash the Mastery, which is very questionable. Uh, normally you Ash the Mastery, is what I found happens. Uh, but he opts not to. 
Uh, if he didn't see True Gaming, he probably would have, because uh, he knows I'm playing some crazy shit. But most people ask for mastery, because uh, it could stop people in their place uh, rather than ashing the servant. Uh, now we're gonna keep. He doesn't ash the shrine either, so very questionable. I thought for sure he had no ash. Uh, we're gonna keep going here. He ashes a servant effect, which hurts us big time, as you're gonna see in a bit. Uh, if he had no other hand trap, it doesn't matter whatsoever. But we are trying to play around uh, Ghost Hogger. So what I should have done here, actually, I probably should have get Zephyr Providence to normal summon, but then it would have been a waste. So it's like, I don't know he has Ogre for sure. Not many people are playing Ogre. He ends up having an Ogre. You're going to see in a bit. Uh, I asked if I, I judge. I already knew if I could Servant again, even if I got Ash, I could put three more counters on it, but you can't because it attempts to summon. We go Electrum and he goes Ogres. Uh, so it really hurts us. I could have not used this effect, but then if he Ogres the... If he Ogres the uh lp i would still end up uh losing and having like nothing so i'm like that's so unfortunate but you know what whatever if you play pendulum magicians you go vortex first to protect the lp and you wouldn't even need to use uh, electrical effect really like a pen call or something but we're not playing pendulum magicians so i forgot how much ogre hurts this uh you said harmonizing old fighted back you know like ogre does not hurt pendulum magicians but it hurts zephyrs a lot so uh we got caught there uh we could have normal some got zephyr providence uh, it would have been a shit play we use Zephyr Providence to get uh, the Zephyr Wendy, the normal summon, make Electrum, get, let it get Ogre, and then we have a skill 8 and a skill 2. Could have pen summon gate 0 on something, but it still would have ended up on nothing. Uh, so it's still unfortunate regardless. Like none, Nonetheless, it's still garbage. Uh, so it still ends up doing nothing. Uh, bring out Zephyr Wrath, uh, Zephyr Nui, pen summon the Jackal, uh, into the Void. One well, the one time where you never, like, into the Void happens like when you have... A uh, weird situation where you get hand trapped with the ass, but if you get hand trapped into the void, it helps you play around the hand traps, and it's okay. We're still fine. Jackal has engaged from Servant, and it's still all good. He got rid of two cards. Any deck that plays two hand traps or opens two hand traps are probably going to open another hand trap or another shit card, and it's useless for them to clear my board or do any damage. So, in my eyes, they only have a. After you draw the card, <coughs> he only has a three usable cards. One of the. He plays Salamangrade, so things are not looking good here. You open in the circle, uh, my, okay, I get more counters. And now you want to play smart. Uh, I notice, uh, so he, yeah, you get used that. He uses it. Obviously, I'm not going to negate that. Uh, I get nothing from it. He uses Gazelle. Uh, I, but he doesn't use Gazelle's effect. I would have negated that shit instantly. I don't like him using Gazelle. I, that's why I realized there's a kind of a, a misplay there. What he should have done was he should have, uh, in my opinion, in my opinion, uh, bring out a bring Bailings and grave asap and then bring out gazelle so you use gazelle's effect and then jackal will be forced to negate it so it doesn't dump but then you protect it with Bailings, and then uh you would go off from there but he opted not to do that he opted to summon gazelle and not use its effects i'm like, okay no problem he ends up summoning the spinny i say no problem and his game plan uh which he stuck to was to use uh magic meristalio to bounce his back uh <coughs> now I said that was no problem. What I should have done was let him bounce it back to my hand. Uh, like I should have let it bounce to my hand because that way I could have pen summoned next turn. Because I thought for sure he would out the Jackal. So I left it in hopes he would neg a bit to out the Jackal. Maybe he would heat up, bring an Electrum, and do something. Uh, I thought for sure he could have done it, but this noob didn't even play Hita. So I was like, what the fuck am I even playing? And then he ends up just doing that. And then when I realized he was a noob, was when he ended up trying to search at a Gazelle instead of a spell. By using uh, Stalio twice. I'm like, okay, this is going to be... I hate shit duel when I face a shit player. But I want to put, post all the matches I uh, I have. I got Ash and Ogre. And I still post this. I don't want to show the good ones. I want to show every single match. Just so you guys know I'm not hiding anything. So whether they're good or bad, it doesn't matter. I want to show absolutely everything. Uh, here I draw a useless card, Cerberus. But uh, I'll hope it's not lost. Then he shows a strike. I'm like, oh, this guy does suck. But hey, at the same time... Uh, he has at least some brains because of the way he protected the gazelle and was a wary of the jackal. So at least he had a little brain there. Uh, I bring out the Demion. I'm like, you know what? I could do some link stuff, but uh, this is more safe. Uh, my pen summon could get striked. I'm like, this is safe. Uh, let him strike my Demion. Uh, it's it protected because I have the counter. Uh, it doesn't negate the card, but it's still a Demion's on the field. I'm going to put it right back in a bit. Uh, I have option here to negate the Buffalo with the uh, jackal. I choose not to. Because if he did, I didn't know he didn't play Hita. He could clear my entire board easily with Hita. So I let him draw the two. And I was protected like this. Then he realized at the moment he doesn't play Hita. I called him an idiot. And he just scooped in Fury. Obviously, I'm superior in every which way. 
Now, this match is something... Oh, you guys are going to like this match. This match is hilarious. So, I face a noob again. But this time, I face a noob that actually plays... Uh, I'll fast forward my turn. But I play a noob that actually has a noob friendly deck. The most helmet deck of all time. Stun. The Thunder King fucking barrier stun bullshit. So, even though he's a noob, it doesn't matter. It doesn't take much effort to flip up like a strike or a storming mirror force or whatever the fuck. Or to summon a Thunder King, right? So, this is going to be a, a fun little match. So, even though he kind of sucked... Uh, so he's asked me, oh, how'd you add this year? And I'm like, oh my god, fucking idiot, scrub. But I'm like, whatever, I'll allow the, the guy to be in my presence. It's okay, I'll, I'll allow, let him live. Now we keep playing here. Uh, he's in awe of my absolute perfection. And then, uh, so three, he's like, so three negates, a return to hand and a face down. Good Yu-Gi-Oh. And then I'm like, uh, correction, sir. Uh, it's four negates and two bound, two uh, a return to hand. A return to hand and a banner. So he thought it was four, talked to the six. Get on my level, dual king. 91. Okay. Uh, but hey, he did come up on my stream later, so uh, hey, all is fair in uh, streams and war. Okay, so he goes first. Uh, Thunder King, set three. I didn't want to side because he sucked, and that's when I realized, fuck, I should have side Twisters, Eccentrics, fucking anything. Uh, I hate this deck. Reboots, whatever the fuck. Half my hand's useless. It's okay. We don't give up. I see Dragon Arena. I'm like, okay, the Strudo is the end goal. And we got to take it slow by slow because we know he got strikes. We know he got all that jazz in there. Uh, so we want to take it slow. Uh, very slow, very slow. In fact, we end up bringing out Dark Worm and Tribute Summoning the big boy. Where he proceeds to ask me... Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Let me show you guys something. He proceeds to ask, how did you set that? Well, I proceed to tell him, in Yu-Gi-Oh, if you control a monster, you may tribute summon a level 6 to higher um, a monster by tributing a monster first. Fucking idiot. Why the hell the fuck do you not... Oh, you tributed. Fucking Duel King. Go back to Duel's Kingdom. Okay. Anyways. So here, uh, it seems pretty safe, right? But I know this guy's going to draw one of those fucking traps soon. Uh, it seems like he didn't have a trap, right? If he had a trap, he would have popped my Zephyr Nui. I wouldn't have been able to search. He would have 100% used it in damage step. One of those, like, a plus 800 attack. Oh, he turned... I could see his sets. Holy shit. Oh, plus 500 attack. Okay, anyways. I didn't even know I could see his set. Well, I didn't know his sets at the time. I thought he would have... So this is a 500 attack. I thought he had the 800 one where he could have beat this over easily. So what I do instead is tribute some Jackal and go for broke. I wasn't expecting Mirror Force. I was expecting plus 800 attack card. So I'm like, fuck this guy. I'm going to wreck his shit. I tribute summon Jackal to clear his boy. I'm like, you know what? It's like a low-key genius play because he didn't destroy my Zephyr Nui with the plus 800 attack. I'm like, he must not have it. And then he hits me with the Storming Mirror Force and I cry into oblivion. No, 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 I just keep playing and I realize all hopes lost. This guy's four traps. Uh, let's just fucking go next game. So I'm just going to uh, pass. So he summons this out of nowhere. I'm like, this guy sucks. He strikes my Zephyr Nui, which gets rid of my plan to pop the boss of Dinah. And we're going to go to game three. So game three, he made a point here where he says, uh, rock, paper, I guess this is becoming a rock, paper, scissors game. So I let him go first, the fucking talk, shit talker. I let him go first. He says, like, rock, paper, scissors game. I'm going to go first, pussy. And uh, yeah, he, uh, it's up to the extravagance. He sets five, and I'm like, okay, this guy says five, I don't care, all right? He says five, I let him go first, because I'm a nice guy like that, and he says rock, paper, scissors game. You know, it's not a rock, paper, scissors game. I went first or second or third, it doesn't matter. And uh, then I proceed to get big in Demion, and I'm about to wreck his shit when I don't know our sanctum. I'm like, oh no, I'm about to not be able to summon from an extra deck. Then I see Bagel Tech, I'm like, cool, he's doing my job for me. He's getting rid of his own back row. Then I see si uh, Moral Tech and Alantia and no Scythe. And I'm like, what the hell am I seeing here? This guy's the epitome of, like, shit. So I'm like, okay, if I lose this, I'm, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'll go streak naked and cry. And then I pen summon scared of a strike because I thought for sure he had a strike. Who the hell does not summon a fucking Scythe? Anyways, so I keep going here. I'm like, I'm playing safe still. You got to strike. I'm on my stream. I like, guess it's going to be fun. I don't want to pen everything. I don't want to go for Electrum right away. I could lose. Boom. And then uh, I make Electrum and he impermanences. Cool. Sick. No problem. My end goal was always the Yazi. So I have a Dragon Ravine. I did not activate yet. I intend to discard a card from my Zep card I got from Zephnui. So instead of getting a Divine Strike, I just got a card I can discard with Ravine. Discard. I know that's nothing because it's not a Scythe. It's not a Scythe because he wouldn't fucking pop it. So it's some shit trap. So yeah, he's gonna pop it. I'm gonna blow up his board and win. I could probably OTK this turn. I could definitely OTK this turn. Uh, so that was, that was a game plan. I was gonna pop, Boral Sword, attack, win. Uh, and uh, so I go Yazi. I'm like, what could go wrong, right? He there's no scythe. And then I pop his back row. 
right? Waking the Dragon! What the fuck? He's going second. He should be going second. And look at his sets. Lancia, Bagel Tech, Mor oh, sorry. Sanctum, which he doesn't even have sight for. Impermanence and, uh, Impermanence and uh, Moral Tag, where his only interruption is at sub 5. And it was a fucking Waking the Dragon. Are you fucking kidding me? And then he brings out Last Warrior, and I fucking cry. Alright, I lost. And then I, I was so sad, I didn't even know what to say. I was so sad, I'm going, I'm okay, I'm going to play one more. Uh, I was so sad at this point. I'm like, how the hell can I lose to that idiot? They learned me a lot. Uh, I learned a big lesson there. You can't be overly confident. Let the guy go first. You should. Yeah, I can't do that. Like, I was talking bear shit on my stream. Learn your lesson, humble. I I got humbled from that. Okay, just because he sucked, I couldn't. Holy shit. Anyways, basically, this is a great match you guys are about to see. Okay, so ends up I bricked this one for sure. Uh, I lo I drew a uh, lose to one hand trap hand, uh, which is normal. This is like normal zebra. It's fucking horrible. Look at this hand. I hate this. Remember when I said you want need to play ten foolishes. I drew zero. Remember when I said you need to play like nine ways to get the spell counter card plus ones. I drew zero of those. Uh, the only turbo card I drew was Cerberus, so it's like. Literally lose to one hand trap dot deck. I'm like, what the hell is this? I try to bait all, use all my stuff that you could use Ash on, uh, first before I Cerberus. That hand was piss, absolute doo doo. So like, it's okay. I'm gonna keep going here. I know what's up, Electro. Again, I have no scales, no nothing. This hand fucking sucks. I'm missing my pendulum calls, my duels alliances. Uh, I lose to one hand trap with this hand. It's horrible. I'm like, please don't. I'm like, I was so sad from last time. I'm like, yo, put me out of my end my misery and hand trap Electro. And then he says, say no more, fam. He brings up the Gamma. And the driver, I'm like, god damn. And then, uh, hey, I had into the void, and then boom, I get cocked. Uh, he bricked two, and I'm like, sick, we win. And then the one time I'll have into the void sucked. Oh my god, when you get like, when you get screwed like that, I'm like, oh my god, this is absolute shit. I will never win this. I keep going, I'm like, okay, I'll go little by little, I can win. Uh, <coughs> I'm like, maybe I should, I should Yazi. I didn't know what he was playing at this point. Uh, here's what I should have done. So I go Yazi, I'm pop this up. I'll put some board presence on board. And then next turn, uh, I'll be able to pen summon two and win uh, from my extra deck. Or th I'll build it into the void as well because that's the only way to get me a plus off three cards and I'll use it into the void. And then I end up popping Void Feast. Uh, here's what I should have done. I should have just get three uh, three tokens of Mirror Mirror. I was thinking about it, like, fuck it. I should have got three tokens of Mirror Mirror and pass because if he had the card that requires me to have an extra deck card, I lost. Which he definitely had it since I didn't have anything in the past. So my dumb ass ended up just going to Boral Sword for no reason whatsoever. What I should have done here is just pass. I should have just literally just sent Zephyr Nui to keep this a scale level of 5 and an 8. And then next turn, pen, uh, make something with these and pen summon Jackal and Zephyr Nui and win. Zephyr Nui add me a card. I'll draw a card out of 3 cards into the void. Normal win. I got to win straight up uh, in the game 1. But then like an idiot, I made Boral Sword. No, damn well knowing he's playing with in Infernoids. And then, hey, guess what? I, guess he is, I, I didn't know what he had at the time. Okay, so he ended up uh, top decking the Void Imagination. I was like, okay, bye. Uh, and now I go first. And I'm like, you know what? Now I'm mad. Now I'm mad. All right? So this is just average hand. It's not a little uh, subpar, to be honest. We have two Foolishes, a Servant, a uh, Zephra, and a Random. A little subpar, but I'm scared. We're going to keep going here. I'm going to fast forward. I want to look at this. I, do, like, I was so mad at this point. I was furious. I was like, how the hell am I going to lose against some scrub earlier? And now lose uh, two times in a row. I don't lose. Two, I don't lose once in a row, let alone twice in a row. So I'm like, there's no way I'm losing this match. I refuse to lose this match. I literally refuse. So here I go. I summon uh, just no more over here. This time I had more monsters. I'm like, you're facing the full wrath of Penelope, baby. You're facing the full wrath. Seven interruptions wasn't enough. So what do I do here? I save the Zephyr Nui. We had an extra monster. So we save the Zephyr Nui at the end for the Destrudo. We make the drags here, and guess what, baby? We have 11 infinite counters on the Jackal. Yo, yo, big boy Demion. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, son. Come on, son. Pop the Oracle Zephra. Get ourselves eight interruptions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight from Divine Strike. I'm like, yo, that's how you redeem yourself. That's how you redeem yourself. You get caught from some nub, and then, oh, and then I forgot to do the field effect from the Zephra before I popped it, which would end up uh, just stacking the high scale. And then I just negate his stuff. Uh, I told him don't scoop because I would make a video out of it. And respect to the uh, respect to ours one. This is a great match. He did his best, but he had eight interruptions. He had, he had a good hand, but like, I had, what are you gonna do? With eight interruptions. You have six cards, right? And uh, my I, I negate everything. Attack for game. And they have different encounters. Like, like bro, like <laughs> this is remarkable. I'm gonna show another video just on this alone in the future. Like it's eight negates, bro. It's fucking amazing. Like uh, now we're gonna go to game three. Game three now. Uh, I look at my hand. I didn't brick. I sorry. I didn't uh side. I didn't care what he had. I wanted this to be a real. I'm like, you know what? 
but give me your worst. Give me your best. Give me your absolute best. Because I know Lair Darkness and Fernoid does some crazy shit. So I'm like, give me your best. I'm just going to play without signing. And then he ends up bricking. So Lair of Darkness, he summons this. And he definitely had the Inferno. So yeah, he had the Imagination and Gamma. I knew he had something like this. Uh, I knew he had Imagination. I didn't know Gamma. I had no idea for that, right? I thought, no way he's going to have to know he's going first. Uh, so at this point, I'm like, yo, that's it. I win for sure. I'm going to obliterate the guy. But what you got to keep in mind, facing this deck, and this is a real threat. Inferno and Lair of Darkness is huge. Which is why I'm doing stuff like this. So you guys understand how to beat it, right? Which is why I'm posting so many of videos a day. So you guys can get better at Yu-Gi-Oh! So whoever is still watching 20 minutes in, you're about to learn a very important lesson. You're about to get a uh, reward for your hard work for watching the rest of the, this whole video so far. But uh, what you got to keep in mind is you can tribute, you can tribute one of my cards and get rid of anything from this uh, in my grave, which is huge. Okay, I could get absolutely destroyed. Uh, uh, what if I foolish and have a monster on? What if we like use it for the electrum? Like you get a tribute on electrum, get rid of a dark room. You know, it's huge. So I was like, you know what? Let's take this. Let's make this shit easy. Let's do almost on the dark room, attack, and be free and win. This is a great game. You guys should really pay attention to it. And then I'm like, yo, I'm just gonna destroy the guy. Like I normal summon, God gets zero. Now I'm gonna go into Yazi and do some cool plays and get enough counters with Abduct to get turbo cards, pen summon, you're gonna go Boral Sword, Pen Summon, I'm gonna have a lot of monsters on board, the gates, everything. Right? And then look at that. I normal summon Zephra Endy. Guys, it's not Dark Room. Like, Dark Room got foolish, right? I don't want someone twice there. So, what we're going to do is fast forward. And we realize at the very end, okay? <laughs> and then we're like, yo, we're just going to go back. Well, the second we realize I don't want someone twice, I'm like, yo, let's go back. So, we're going to replay that whole game state when I chatted. I, who normal someone's in the Dark Room when you had a foolish, right? So, I got a little mind fucked by myself. We both realized that we died laughing. Like, oops. Uh, we're going to go back to the same game state. Uh, I'm going to pretend he does not have Gamma. I'm just going to continue playing. So, we know all the Dark Room, now we're going to continue playing from here. Abductor Shrine, we're going to send this through. The end board, the end play here, we want to have a board presence, and we want to have uh, two negates. So, that's the play. Uh, so, we're going to end up a Dark Room to Sudo. We're going to go Yazi. Uh, Yazi, bring up Mer Mer. And then, I'm playing like I don't know he has Gamma. Uh, and then, he Gamma's a Mer Mer, obviously. And now, I'm going to have to do some uh, kind of weird plays here. Uh, but, very smart plays, but weird. Uh, so, we go Ravine. Uh, bring up Dark Room. Put the Zephyr Wendy there. Now adding three counters for Abductor. Abductor adding Ze Zephyr Nui. Because with Zephyr Wendy, you can only pen summon Zephras. A lot of people would have not known to do that. They, a lot of people wouldn't summon the Zephyr Wendy in the scale. Because they'd be scared. But we use it to add the Zephyr Nui. We pen summon the Zephyr Nui. We add a card. Uh, which will be in the gate later. We then go into Electrum. We don't activate the effect number one. We realize his first turn was uh, bad. So he could have another hand trap. It was void of imagination. But we didn't know, right? So it could be another hand trap. So we don't risk a Ghost Ogre. We just want to get rid of the Zephyr 1D from our scale. That's our main goal. To ensure that next turn we could be good. So we add another Zephyr 1D to be able to do the same thing next turn if we have to. And uh, we get the Abductor. We activate Zephyr Providence to get uh, Zephyr Divine Strike. Now we have a Negate. Because uh, uh, through the Zephyr Nui. So what most people would have got zero Negates the way it ended up with the Gamma. And the, uh, the forcing us to attack first. Uh, but it just is a weird hand we had, weird situation, very weird situation, but we came out great from it, uh, getting a negate from what looked like we would have nothing. Uh, and then uh, he, with a weird, really weird hand, especially after the gamma, it was a very awkward hand. Uh, and then he activates that, I say no problem because he needs to discard a card to do it. And then uh, he activates this, I divine strike that, and uh, win after that. I did activate uh, anything, uh, search a scale with a doctor. Chronograph, Pen Summon, and win. So, a great match. Lots of duels. Uh, in the future, obviously, I'm going to be a better rating. I'm only 500 rating right now on matches. 543, 2000. Uh, the more I duel, is going to be like 600, 700, 800, 900. So, expect my next week to be like a 1,000 rating or something. So, we're going to be dueling a lot better people, which will be a lot better testing for all you guys. So, hope you guys like this video. Lots of duels. Lots of talking. I didn't go to sleep now. Lots of duels. Enjoy the videos. Tomorrow, we're going to try and post lots of times again. So, hope you guys enjoyed the three videos today. Don't forget to subscribe to you guys next video. Peace. The deck's amazing. What can I say? Yeah, we won some. We lost some. The deck's absolutely remarkable. You're going to win 99% of the time. All right? This is Triff Math. Simple algebra arithmetic. All right? Hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more, tomorrow, expect more Triff Miss uh, Infinity videos in the next few weeks. Hope you guys have a good day. Hit the subscribe button. See you guys in tomorrow's plethora of videos. Peace.